Learn how to quickly create a spinning animation of your product in Blender. In edit mode, select the vertex that's close to the edge of the bottom. Use the Shift S command to set the 3D cursor to that vertex. Switch back to object mode, right click and choose set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Afterward, you can move the 3D cursor back to the world origin. Press A while holding Shift then select curve and choose circle. Adjust the size of the curve so that it matches the bottom. Add a follow path constraint to the object and set the curve as the target. Adjust the position of the bottle so it is centered within the circle. Make sure the follow curve checkbox is enabled. Now go to the timeline and set a keyframe for offset at the beginning. Move to the last frame, add another keyframe and increase the offset value. In this example I use 359. You can open the graph editor to adjust the handles of the keyframes and make the rotation smoother. Move the slider to the last frame on the timeline. Use the menu on the right side to add keyframes for the rotation values. Next go to the first frame, slightly rotate the bottle and add new keyframes. If you want to add a pop-up effect, simply animate the scale value. Set the scale to 0 at the beginning and then set it to 1 at frame 10. For more variation, adjust the position along the z-axis and animate it with a few additional keyframes. I use the same z-axis location for both the first and the tenth frames. At frame 5, I slightly increase the z value, creating a motion that resembles a sine wave. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and follow me for more 3D tips.